Hey folks, this is Adam from 911reviews.com. I was just going through my closets and look how clunky some of these DVDs are, right? Tons of old DVDs, originals and homemades and all sorts of data discs all over my house. I literally used to have six shelves of them. I've whittled that down to some envelopes and all sorts of stuff, but still way too much space in one of my rooms of DVDs. What are you going to do with all those things? You don't want to throw them all out. Some of them have precious memories, some of them are cool movies that you like. Well, there's a solution. I went online, I did all my research, and I found the right program for converting these clunky things into digital, right? It's called WinX DVD. Now, the first thing I wanted to research is which one does the best job of preserving your archive of old videos, but also which one isn't a scam. Which one's going to work for you, not going to give you a virus? What can you do that's reasonably priced to back up all your old content well again winxdvd.com is freaking fantastic now let's go through this now do you remember some of these go ahead and leave a comment below if you own have or like one of these movies obviously happy gilmore a true classic adam sandler going way back in the way back machine brewster's millions with richard pryor where he has to Spend millions of dollars within a certain time frame. The Ladies Man, certainly a favorite of Snowman Jones. Teen Talk 1995, The Best Of, with Phil, Sean, and Iggy, really a classic. This one, Elvira's Haunted Hills. I saw this in the movie theater, hosted by Elvira. Yeah, she was just in the movie theater for no apparent reason. Clue, Tim Curry was amazing in it. Black Dynamite, a hilarious movie, probably underrated. And the Bruce Lee Dragon story, the Dragon the Blue, Bruce Lee story, technically. Great DVDs, but you don't want to just give them up. You don't want to throw them out. You probably spent 20 bucks at a time from 1999 to 2008 buying DVDs, and now they just sit and they rot in a closet somewhere, in the garage, wherever it may be. And some of these may be hard to find. I know some movies just aren't on DVD, or aren't downloadable. You're not going to find them on Netflix. Uh, Cannonball Run, a personal favorite, kind of an offensive movie. You can't get it anywhere. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, for some reason, you can't seem to stream that anywhere. You can't buy it anywhere. If you have a copy of some of those rare movies, those lost movies, those ones that maybe they don't just they don't show anymore because they're a little offensive, but they're still kind of funny. Well, guess what? Now's the time to back them up. Keep them on your computer. Now, of course, check with local laws. But if you're just backing up for your own purposes, you're just going to use them, you're going to keep them for your viewing on your hard drive, well, the smart decision is winxdvd.com. I'm going to go ahead and put all the information in the description below. So what's the story? DVDs now, um, I mean, DVDs were what, 4.7 gigabytes, under 10 gigabytes, depending on the size, which one, if it's homemade or if it's whatever. They weren't that big by today's standards. Now you can get terabyte drives. You can get hundreds and hundreds of gigs on one backup drive. Why not back up all these bulky, 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 I don't even know how to get this one open. You have to flip here. All these bulky cases, get rid of all this paper, throw it in the recycle bin, throw it in the trash, get rid of it. Nobody wants them. You can't, you can't sell these on eBay anymore. Nobody wants them. Back them up, get your data, keep your favorite movies, and then get rid of the plastic box, get rid of the disc that's gonna scratch up, and that's the other thing. Maybe you do wanna keep it. Maybe this is so important and so precious that you need the original copy on a shelf somewhere, great. But don't trust that these aren't going to start fading and falling apart. I've got some home movies and stuff. Well, guess what, I tried to play those the other day. I got a video from when I went to Egypt, and guess what? The DVDs are only meant to last five to 10 years when they're a home burn. Well, shoot. You don't want them just fading and falling apart and never seeing them again. Get the digital copies, get them backed up, put them to Dropbox, put them to the cloud, do something with them. The important things in your life, it's important to back it up. Now there's so many different features in this program, I can't even go into it all. I'll try to list everything in the description below. But when it comes to backing up data, when it comes to compressing, taking 4K and making making it smaller, taking video and upsizing it, all that kind of stuff you can do with this program. And it's reasonably priced. You're not talking thousands of dollars. There's all sorts of hardware that you can buy and put your DVD in, or capture it and put it on. No, don't waste your money, don't waste your time. This is the perfect software for that. So when you got your co copy of Maybe Goonies, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Smokey and the Bandit. Maybe you're the only one who has a copy of Smokey and the Bandit 3. 
There's a reason for that. Um, you can back those things up and keep them forever and not have to fill a closet full of DVDs that you're kind of embarrassed to show in because it's old technology, but you don't want to get rid of it. Truly a great program. I highly recommend it. I think you should pick this up today. Again, I did all the research. You don't have to worry about it's safe. Uh, CD net checked it out. Um, is it a, is it a virus.com? I had them check it out. Everybody said it is completely safe and it's a good program. So go with that. Um, check Winx DVD. Don't, don't settle for something else that you can't, you can't trust. Back up your content, keep it safe, back up your hard drives, keep all your information safe. It's really an amazing program. Again, all the details, because I can't go into all the details, I won't do it justice, will be in the description below, but click through to the website and see it for yourself. Thanks again for watching. I'm Adam from 911 Reviews. Click like and subscribe. We have new videos how often? Yeah, that's right, all the time. Adios, amigos. And don't forget to check out our favorite product review and tech gadget page, 911reviews.com. 911 is a fun, energetic, and entertaining YouTube page for your favorite phones, outdoor gear, and pretty much anything in your Amazon shopping cart. If you love pop culture, entertainment, and a little bit of science, then check out the link in the description below.